global integral in polar coordinates over lemnus gate r square equal to a square cosine of 2 theta. To understand how to plot lemnus gate r square equal to a square cosine of 2 theta, we need to understand few points about the symmetry. So first is symmetry about initial line that is theta equal to 0 degree. If I replace r theta with r negative theta and if the result remains unchanged, then I say that there is symmetry about initial line. Symmetry about initial line means suppose this is your theta uh, in polar coordinates. This is theta equal to 0 degree. Suppose I'm having the curve like this above this initial line. Then symmetry about initial line means I'm having the same area below this initial line right so let's see whether the result is coming out to be same or not right so let's replace uh, theta with negative theta only r is same here so this is r square equal to a square cosine of instead of theta i'm writing cosine of 2 negative theta and i know that cos of negative theta is cos theta it is an even function so this is equal to a square cosine of 2 theta back. I'm getting result. So I'm having the symmetry about the initial line here, right? Second, symmetry about pole. Pole means where r is equal to 0. So in polar coordinates, if theta is equal to this is 0 degree, then the point here r is 0 r is what it is a radius right so radius is zero which means this point symmetry about this point means if i'm having the curve like this then this area is symmetry about this pole which means to rotate this petal to the other side so i'm getting the other side like this this is what i mean with the symmetry about the pole right So for symmetry about the pole, if I replace r theta with negative r theta, the result should be the same. So let's, uh, so here theta is same, just I have to replace r with negative r. So this is negative r square is equal to a square cosine of 2 theta. And this is again, r square is equal to a square cosine of 2 theta, which means the result is same. So I'm also having the symmetry about the pole. So third is curve passes through the pole. Passes through the pole r equal to 0. And let's get the points for theta or the values or limits for theta. So if r equal to 0 which means I'm having r square is equal to a square cosine of 2 theta r is 0 so this is equal to a square cosine of 2 theta so this implies cosine of 2 theta is equal to 0 now where the cosine is 0 cosine of pi by 2 and cosine of 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 can also be written as negative pi by 2 if i rotate the angle to the other side see this is your 0 degree this is pi by 2 this is pi this is 3 pi by 2 but this is when i rotate the angle like this but if i rotate the angle to the other side i get 3 pi by 2 as it is also written as negative pi by 2 so instead of 3 pi by 2 i'm using the value negative pi by 2 So, uh, cosine of 2 theta equal to if cosine of pi by 2, I get 2 theta is equal to pi by 2 and theta is pi by 4. And for cosine of negative pi by 2, I get 2 theta equal to negative pi by 2 and theta is equal to negative pi by 4. So, I'm getting uh, theta to be as pi by 4 and negative pi by 4 which means i'm having 
the range or limits for theta to be as negative pi by 4 and pi by 4. The area between this. All right. So let's draw the curve. So for that, uh, I have already written this values of theta. Just we have to calculate the values of r and just plot the points. For theta equal to 0, I get cosine of 0 is 1. So this is a. For theta pi by 6, I get cosine of uh, pi by 3, which is um, 60 degree. So cosine of 60 degree is 1 by 2. But if you take the square root, you get a over square root 2, which is approximately 0.78 and when you put pi by 4 here in place of theta you will get pi by 2 and cosine of pi by 2 is 0 so here r is 0 and for pi by 3 uh, pi by 3 you get the negative value of cosine of 2 theta so you get an imaginary number and for pi by 2 also you are getting cosine of pi as which is negative 1 and square root of negative 1 is also the imaginary number. So we don't need these two values. Just focus on these three and draw the curve. For theta equal to 0 I am having r radius as a. Let's suppose that this is your a, the radius a. So if theta is 0, r is a which means the point is here. For pi by 6, I'm having 0.7a. Pi by 6 is your pi by 3. And 0.7a is simply uh, just little less than a. Suppose this is the point for pi by 6. And for pi by 4, the value is 0. So r is 0, which means this point. The radius is 0. So the curve is now like this right like this and because for the first point we understand that symmetry is about this initial line theta equal to zero which means the same area is below the initial line also so this is like this and we also understood that for the second point, that symmetry is also about this pole. So I can rotate this petal to the other side, just making the other side as because of the symmetry about the pole. So I'm having the lemnis gate r square equal to a square cosine of 2 theta as this. Right? I'm sorry. This should be... Just wait. Theta equal to negative pi by 4 is like this. And for pi by 4, the value of theta is 0. So it must turn like this. Thank you so much. So here you get. All right. Let's calculate the given integral as mentioned in this example. Evaluate the double integral r dr d theta over square root of a square plus r square over one loop of the lemnus gate r square equal to a square cosine of 2 theta. Only one loop which means this one, the purple colored. And I have already uh, made this wedge in green color and this is d theta and this is your angle theta and theta here I'm having pi by 4 and negative pi by 4 so you understand that the limits for theta is minus pi by 4 as the lower limit and pi by 4 as the upper limit and now the limits for r the r is starting from this 0 and it is from 0 Along the wedge, it is reaching the curve this. And here the value of r is a square root of cosine 2 theta. So this is a square root of cosine 2 theta. Alright. 
Now to calculate this double integral, just putting the limits here pi by 4 to pi by 4 and r is from 0 to a square root of cosine 2 theta and this is r over square root of a square plus r square dr d theta. Right? Okay. You can also take the substitution as a square plus r square equal to t but I am directly integrating this and I need 2r in the numerator so I am multiplying and divide by 2 so that I can directly integrate 1 over square root of a square plus r square. So taking this denominator to the numerator negative pi by 4 positive pi by 4 from 0 to a square root of cos of 2 theta and I need this 2r dr and I'm taking 1 by 2 outside so let me take this as 1 by 2 outside all right so this denominator is a square plus r square I'm taking this to the numerator with negative minus 1 by 2 and I also need 2r dr so this is not a by 2 just a because two idea to be taken together for this direct integral and this half is now cancelled out with this and now here remains only a thank you so much thank you all right so 1 plus cosine of 2 theta is 2 cos square theta the power 1 by 2 minus 1 d theta right so this is equal to a minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 this is square root of 2 and this is cos of theta minus 1 d theta now because cosine of theta is an even function and the limits are same with the opposite sign so this integral will be changed to twice the integral from 0 to pi by 4 this is the result square root 2 cos of theta minus 1 d theta now i can easily integrate this as twice of a what is the integration for cosine theta it is sine of theta and the integration for 1 is theta putting the limits from 0 to pi by 4 i get this is equal to twice a putting pi by 4 sine of pi by 4 is 1 over root 2 And putting here theta to be pi by 4 as minus pi by 4 negative sign. Putting the value 0 will give me all 0. So there is, okay. So this is equal to twice of a. This is cancelled out. So this is 1 minus pi by 4. And this is just your answer to this double integral in polar coordinates over one loop of Lemnitz gate. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Do like and subscribe the channel for the latest videos. Thank you. God bless.